It has been over two weeks since four tornadoes ripped through parts of western New York. That includes the South Towns. A lot of folks still cleaning up out there. Homeowners insurance, that's been a big issue. Whether people are getting damaged and their cleanup cost covered. And tonight we wanted to know why some people are left to pay for the damages themselves. Channel 2's Jeff Prabal in the studio with us now. And what's the latest on this, Jeff? Yeah, hi there, Ron. Now the State Department of Finance, they sent out a, a team of insurance experts to Hamburg today to answer any questions that people had about their coverage. And what we're finding is a lot of people are paying big bucks in cleanup costs. Don Meissner of West Falls has concerns about tree damage on his property. So he paid a visit to the state's mobile command center in front of Hamburg Town Hall to talk to the insurance experts here and have them take a look at his homeowner's insurance policy. We used to have nice dark woods. We have daylight now. He says he and his wife weren't home at the time. It's pretty scary stuff. Meissner says experts here told him his insurance will not cover tree removal, something the Hamburg emergency manager, Sean Crotty, says is a common theme among storm victims. He says about 40 homeowners from the South Towns came to the command center, some of them with questions about property damage, many with questions about tree cleanup costs, which he says many homeowners aren't covered for. The big thing is, again, the financial obligation of cleaning up a large parcel of land with many, many trees uh, that, you know, again, runs upwards of $10,000, and it's an unexpected expense. So you're really seeing some people who are, you know, being forced to cough up some pretty good change. Oh, absolutely. There's a lot of... You know, there's a lot of uh, money that um, has gone into the storm, you know, the, the recovery efforts. Meissner says he's been quoted at least $25,000 to clean up his property. I'm, I'm not going to rush into anything. I'm going to look around and see what the best options are. Now, that command center was also made available for people who suffered flood damage from recent storms like the one that hit Cheektowaga several weeks ago. We have not heard from the state about whether there will be any financial assistance, such as grants, made available to storm victims. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.